Excellent. So, welcome to the stream, Mystico, by the way. First and foremost. Well, not foremost, but first. Secondly. Are you on? Who else drops keys? Um, there are three characters that drop keys. Uh, first one is the Countess. And she can get the key of terror. She can drop the key of terror. Second one is the summoner. He can drop the key of hate. And the last one is Nilathak. And he can drop a key of destruction. Look at that. Blue essence. Okay. I'll take it as you are about to be ready. What is that? Really? It smells pretty good. What is it? It's the uh, general saw's saw. Tofu. Saw. So so toes. Tofu and peanut with broccoli and spicy rice. Can I get some of that chicken? Oh, it's not chicken. It's tofu. Whatever. Okay. Wait, it's really hot. I don't need to get hurt. Alright. You're saying you, ha you have about an hour? An hour should be enough. That's the broccoli. Mmm. Is it mm. Okay. I will make a game right now and we shall attempt Ubers. Um wait, did I kill all the cows? Or did I not? Oh, I didn't even Okay. Actually yeah, after I after I do the, these cows, which will be fairly quick. After I kill these cows is what I meant to say. We'll do the Ubers. Diamond mail, I'll take it. So, what I will need you to do, Mystigo, is to teleport to the locations where the bosses are. And we, the reason why having two people is important is because we want the game to stay active on the server. We we don't want the game to disappear and we will likely have to re-enter the game if we die if one of us dies we exit the game and then we re-enter it well one of us does so, the idea is this, there are three locations where we're going to go, and one of those locations has Uber Duriel. Well, it depends on where you die, but really, goal one is to find the boss, where the boss is. Goal two is to advance toward the boss 
as fast as possible. Ideally, ideally, um, since you have the teleporter, you find the boss, then find a very close, safe location, and then we slowly advance toward the boss, and make sure that we can get the boss one-on-one. -on -one. So that my smiter can start, you know, smiting. And then when we get the organ sets, well, what you collect basically is called organs. And if you uh, if you get the organs, then you can open a portal to Uber Tristram. In Uber Tristram, it is incredibly important that we do not aggro the bosses all together. The way that it works is that they will, they will be spawning minions very quickly. And if you don't overpower the boss... You're going to lose the opportunity to do anything at all. And what will likely happen is if you if you have to call for help to kill the Ubers, the person that comes in to help out, they might just go ahead and grab the torch. And goodbye your torch. Okay? So in the final area which is Uber Tristram. What you gotta do is you lure slowly, slowly, you kind of step, step like one step at a time, get, go around until one of the bosses teleports to you. You lure that boss into the corner away from the brothers and then you start smiting it. One of the largest mistakes, one of the biggest mistakes you can make is start teleporting all over the level. Because then if all of the brothers get aggroed, they might get together in one location and then you probably won't be able to kill them. Um, unfortunately, I do not have call to arms. I don't know if you... Have, well, you either have a teleporter or a barbarian, really, that can give uh, battle orders. So... That little escapade we're doing is going to be without call to arms. So without battle orders. Which means I'm going to have like 50% of the life points. And that can be the difference between getting one shot and not getting one shot. And that ultimately can be the difference between succeeding at Ubers and failing at Ubers. So I will explain to you a particular mechanic that is necessary for completing the Ubers. And that mechanic is called Crushing Blow. Crushing Blow basically um, removes... Like, either 15% or 25% of the person's total health. And Uber Brothers, they have, they have a lot, lot, lot of health. Which is why percentage-based damage is so important. So... 24 MF amulet. It's not too bad. Uh, one of the things that is useful to have in Ubers, for example, is if you find charms such as these, which give you life and resistances, small charms, super important, super helpful. All right, 
I will make a game with my smiter. And then we shall attempt Ubers. And I will even unload the juvies. Are you ready? Have you ever done Ubers? Not in D2? Okay. Here we go. Create game. The game is Rarugu 1, or actually just Rarugu, and the password is going to be Ubers. No, 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 not Ubers. The password is going to be GG1. GG1. I don't even have a mercenary that can... Yeah, my mercenary is just not ready for it. Alright. So here's what you gotta do. You have to go to Harogath. You have to be in Harogath. Uh, and I will gladly take that Key of Terror off of you if you don't mind. Okay, thank you. So, we have... Th what we need, what we need in order to do the Ubers, we need three essences of, or three keys of destruction. Three keys of hate and three keys of terror, which I have acquired. So, we take destruction, terror, and hate. Then we step away from the private stash so that we don't block anything. Alright. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put hate, destruction, and terror into the cube and then transmute them. Boom. Forgotten Sands. Okay. Before you go in... Forgotten Sands, this is where Duriel is. This is where Duriel is. Before going in, I will put on Treachery. Treachery has a chance to cast Fade when struck. Basically... I will go to River of Flame, I will stand in this little fire until the Fade activates. The Fade just got activated, my resistances are very high. This is why you need Treachery, is to activate the Fade, then switch back to Duress. And then make sure to have life tap. Like, this is why this wand exists. Life tap wand. Now, we're gonna go into Forgotten Sands. And Duriel, Uber Duriel, is typically... Um... Ah, uh, there we go. I'm actually doing it. Okay, my Merc is dead, but... I'm smiting him. Why am I frozen? 
Okay, Bale's Eye. Boom. Okay, this is Uber Durial. Uber Durial is really strong. Oh, uh, okay. So we got one organ. Bale's Eye. Alright. I don't think I have the money to resurrect my Merc. I am playing very poorly right now. Because I didn't even cast the life tap on him. Alright, the next... The next part... Is going to be tougher. So, I will put... Destruction... Hate and Terror into the cube. And open the second portal. This is Matron's Den. Matron's Den... Is where Andariel is. And what I need you to do... Is teleport until you find her and let me know where she is. Keep in mind, enemies here are really tough. I recommend you cast frozen armor. Find Andariel. I'm sorry, not Andariel. You need to find Lilith. You will know when you see her. And I forgot the password for the game. Alright. When you find her, try to teleport to a relatively safe location and make a town portal. I will just stand in this fire, make sure that the fade is casted. Excellent. Now. Make a teleport in a relatively safe location. Please. Okay. Okay, where is she? She's top left. Slowly. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, now, don't advance too much further. We're, we just need to make sure we don't let the enemies pile up. But I, I see what you're... I, I can see where, where she is on the map. We're gonna slowly advance. Uh, so, can you... Can you make a portal like right there, maybe? Okay, this is a problem. We need to... We need to not allow... 
the enemies to pile up. Do not teleport all the way around and... Don't, don't open anything. This is not an area where you loot. This is, this is just trying to get to the boss. Yeah, like this is problematic. Okay, I can kind of see where she is. So you're, you're saying she's on the other side of the wall. Okay. Shit. I didn't want to attract their attention. I need to relax because if I get nervous, I might screw it up and I don't want that. So, what's probably gonna happen is Wahid is gonna die. Alright, teleport to me. Teleport to me. I just gotta make sure that... And and see if they, if we can not, like, make make sure that the enemies don't get here. Right, so that we have a way to... Okay, I will make a portal right here. Um, hang on. I don't have the fade active, so I'm going to go and reactivate the fade. With treachery. Because... Uh, this is important to make sure that your resistances are... Come on. They have the treachery on, right? Yep. Come on, fire. Do your thing. It might take a while before before it activates. That's fine. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll get one. We'll get him. We'll get him. All right. Just clear the area and don't aggro the enemies. Alright, so she is in that room, you're saying, right? Okay. she She's coming in. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Because I don't know how many enemies she has with her. Shit. She's coming. I got the life tap on her. Life tap, do your thing. Got her.
Got her, got her, got her. Okay, so what I will need... What I will need is some mana potions, because because running out of mana is not what you want to do. Okay, so that's the second boss, and you get Diablo's Horn. Diablo's Horn. Alright, we get two out of three. Let's do the third one. Thank you. Keep the jewelries. All right. I recommend you put them in the stash because they can disappear off of the floor after a period of time. Furnace of Pain is where your teleport talents are going to be particularly important. You need to find Izual. Furnace of Pain is where Izual is located. Find Izual in the Furnace of Pain, which is here. There is going to be Izual, and it's the same thing. You make a portal right by him, and I'm gonna start working on him. Just find him and make a portal in a relatively safe location. is usually never right by the entrance. I will keep eating until you find... Oh. I guess I have to go and reactivate the fade while you're looking. <laughs> this is treachery, right? Yep. Heal up. Treasury, what are you doing? All right, it's not activating. Hey, spicy, what do you think of the dish? I think it's very tasty. Um, there's the spicy tiger still in the freezer. Do you want that tomorrow? I will eat it. That's okay. Thank you. It's not that important right now. But this, no, I like the dish. I really like it. Thank you for making it. You're and we're, um, it, are you are you streaming? Yes, I am streaming. I want to say something to them. Are there, there are people on there? Yes, Mystico is here. Oh, um, internet people. Um, tomorrow, Nikita and me are going to be going to the YMCA very early, and it's going to be fun. That's right. We're going to go sit in the sauna. Yeah, and then I'll bench press him. No! You, you didn't recover from your hernia surgery. 
You can't be bench pressing men. Why not? Because you didn't recover from your hernia surgery. I feel good. No, you're gonna follow the doctor's recommendations. The doctor's recommendation is for me to bench press you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I would like to, but not right. Now. I mean, I, don't, I I know I can't, but I mean, I want to. I feel good. You have a few weeks. I have like three or like three weeks left. Three or four. Like. Oh, there it is. Of recovery. All right. Did you find Isabel? Did you find him? All right. The enemies here are not that tough, so if you're saying south, I'm not south as in like here or there, which south? Southwest, okay. Okay. This, th these guys are exploding, guys. We gotta be careful. Right. Oh, there it is. There he is. There he is. Israel. Got him. All right. We got it. We got the organ set. Okay. So this, this is how you get the entry to Uber Tristram. Diablo's horn is from Lilith. Bale's eye is from Duriel. And Mephisto's brain is from Isol. And they're always going to drop the same ones. Now, we take those three organs. We activate them. And I think... I should, well, you can watch what I'm doing, but just be, ca be careful. Do not run around. Slowly. Okay, one of them got aggroed. Do not, do not clutter the portal. Do not clutter the portal. Mephisto dead. Mephisto is dead. Mephisto is dead. Okay. The problem with Mephisto... Oh! Also, you cannot... You cannot town portal here. You can... You may not town portal here. You cannot use town portal. I forgot about that. So, now that the Mephisto is dead... This is... This is the toughest part. Is to kill Mephisto be, before getting wrecked. And the reason for that is because he has a Conviction Aura. And he does incredible amount of lightning damage. Alright, I will try to clear the portal a little bit. So that you can re-enter. 
Try to get your body. Try to get your body. Okay. Go back to Haraga. Heal up. Okay. Heal from poison. Okay. Um, I recommend that you buy a thawing potion and an anti-poison potion to improve your resistances. Okay. So... I'm going to go back to here and reactivate the fade to make sure that my resistances are up to par. Because if 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 I die due to lack of resistances, that's an issue. I shouldn't, but Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry, especially considering how long it takes to get these resources. Come on. Come on. Please. Got it. All right. Fate is activated. I put those vegetables that were in the pan in the oven. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Wonderful. Sarah, I am really busy right now. Like, really busy. And I don't want to be distracted for the next five minutes. Please. Can I get a code developer high five? Code developer high five. Woohoo! All right. Back to it. Okay, life tap is on. So now we lure out the next brother. Mephisto is the first one. There's Bale. Wait, he's going to teleport. He's going to teleport. Bail down. Going for Diablo. Going for Diablo. Get him. Get him. Yes. Get back here and get your torch. I dropped the torch on the ground. That hellfire charm that is on the ground, that is yours. And standard of heroes, right here. See, hellfire torch? You can take it. Take it. Where? Press Alt key. There it is, yeah. Got it. So this is this is the torch that I was wearing before we started.
All right. Well, this is this is actually done. We don't need to kill anything anymore. And if you look at look at these guys, you will see that they are immune to just about everything except physical damage. Pit lords. Do you see this? Pit lords immune to magic, fire, lightning, cold, poison. All right, get back to town. Boom. So this is Uber Tristram. There you go. There there is your there is your standard of heroes. You have earned it. And I have earned it as well. It's going to be right there. So when when you um Well, here's the thing. You're saying you were keeping those guys busy, but because you were there, they were spawning all around you. Standard of Heroes doesn't really do much. But anyways, this is my first Ubers of Diablo 2 Resurrected. And it is only fitting that I do identify the storage instead of trading it. Barbarian. 13, 13. 13, 13 Barbarian Torch. Not very popular, but... Uh, it is not a Necromancer Torch. Um... Which means I have some diversity. So, for those of you who are wondering and watching this, I'll reiterate it again. You need three keys of destruction, three keys of terror, three keys of hate. Forgotten Sense is with Uber Duriel that gives you Bale's Eye. Matron's Den gives you Lilith and she drops Diablo's Horn. And Furnace of Pain is where we find Izuel and he drops Mephisto's Brain. And then you combine the three, you go into the Tristram. And that's where the three brothers are. The key is... You lure them out one by one, and you attempt to counter. You you like step one is to lure Mephisto out because if you if you don't lure Mephisto out first, the conviction aura that he has he has a really high level conviction aura. It is going to wreck you, and um, activating treachery, just having treachery, which is Shael full lem. It is not that that hard to. To make you activate the fade and then you go in and you proceed through the content if you find that your resistances are for whatever reason lacking there is another option which is kira's guardian kira's guardian um has cannot be frozen i have an oom in this kira's guardian which gives me extra resistances and overall that's plus 85 all resists I used oomed, um, so I'll, I'll just go over the gear that I had. Um, I had Dracul's Grasp, which is what gives you life tap. Um, before I initiate the fight, you know, I just have some random spirit equipped. And then level 5 life tap wand, which you can trade for uh, relatively painlessly but you can so i cast the life tap prior to starting the smite um and then for my weapon i have sanctuary sacred rondash um the total resistance is, is 107 uh so without without the fade uh my my uh, poison my poison actually in fire is somewhat low uh 
My cold is okay. My lightning is okay. But my fire is a little low. Um, I have a few lifers here. Just Yeah, just life charms. Um, getting enough life charms is actually really important. Um, I might as well... Fire resist plus 10. There we go. I'll just add, the, add that charm to my inventory. I know I had... Um, I had some fire resist charms. So yeah, if you find resistant charms and just stack them... Um, you'll be all right. So, um, yeah, for the for the helmet, Gulama's face for the shield, sanctuary, uh, amulet is High Lord's wrath uh, to give me attack speed. Duress is the armor to give me resistances and more importantly, fifteen percent chance of crushing blow. Uh, I have a Go Rider pair of boots. You can substitute it for Goblin Toe. I have Raven Frost equipped for Cannot Be Frozen mod. It also gives me Dexterity uh, for the Phase Blade. For the belt, I have Verdungos with 14 damage reduction. Um, Dwarf Star for fire absorption so basically cold absorption fire fire absorption uh the weapon of choice is king slayer every single rune that is in that blade is droppable in the forge and when you equip it in the the reason why it is equipped in the phase blade is because weapon attack speed is what directly impacts how fast you smite so a face blade by default has increased attack uh, very fast attack speed and my my current character sheet is uh damage reduction 14 percent seven percent life stolen per hit um increased attack speed plus 50 percent 100% faster hit recovery. I am not sure if that hits any breakpoints. Um, I use Fanaticism Aura for uh, for increased attack speed once again. It's all about making sure that you smite, deal crushing blows, and... Uh, reduce the life pool of the boss as much as possible. Uh, prevent monster heal is hugely important, which uh, what Kingslayer also has. Prevent monster heal means the bosses do not regenerate their life. It also reduces target's defense with every hit, minus 25%. So this, is liter this weapon right here is designed specifically for Ubers. Um... Yeah, that's how you do it, and um, yippity yippity yep. I hope um, you enjoyed that little experience. Once again, just hover over the gear, and you can pause. You can pause wherever. Um, life charms, just plus life, small charms, grand charms with plus 35 life. Um, just to get extra, extra couple of hundred life will make a difference between you living and you dying sometimes. Um, Mystical says that was awesome and nerve wracking. Well, that's, that's the rush. That is the rush of Ubers. So, thank you very much for staying with me. If you're watching this online, in the record, this is Uber Tristram. In fact, I'm going to go back in there again and probably die. 
I wanted to do a screenshot, but I guess I, I have to clear these guys out. Corner them, smite them. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yeah, and by the way, by the way, um, yeah, I'll just stand right here, and that that will be the screenshot for the vod. <laughs> um, the enemies will not be spawned after the boss is dead. For whatever reason, I am not stealing life from these guys, even though life tap is cast upon them. Oh, there we go. This guy is immune to physical! Dark Lords are immune to physical damage. And immune to cold. <laughs> Alright. Alright, back up. Alright. This is Uber Tristram. And if you think that you can handle it, Gather the keys. You need to kill... Um... Nilathak. Nilathak is located in the hole... In the Holes of the Vought, which is the level after Holes of Pain. Um... Summoner is located in the Arcane Sanctuary. And Countess is located in the Black Marsh. Good luck, have fun, and make sure you do well with your monster luring, life tapping, smiting. Get those torches, have this fun. And. If you want any advice, leave the comment down below, subscribe, follow, all that. Links are right there. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah.